Developing tonight, Riverside County pushing $7.6 million in funding to develop more emergency shelter projects. The money will directly impact two projects in the Valley, one in Palm Springs, the other in Indio. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau joins us live in studio. And Samantha, the funds will add more beds to shelters, but until then, the homeless community is asking for help as they try to survive the summer heat, right? Karen, that's right. That $7.6 million in funding will go towards eight projects countywide, which will add beds to the planned Palm Springs Homeless Navigation Center and the Coachella Valley Rescue Mission in Indio. But with this extreme heat, an unhoused woman I spoke with tells me it's tough for her to wait and see that change. It's brutal. I mean, you can't, you, you can't get settled. You're sweating. It's hot. You can't get enough water, enough ice. While the sun beats down, this pile of bins and bags behind a building is where Tammy Kirchigator goes to escape the heat. And this is kind of where I stay. This is all my stuff. Um, somebody else's trash, my treasures. This pallet holds up her blankets and tarp and acts as insulation to keep her cool. To keep the heat out, to for keep the rain out, to um, stay, some, to keep the bugs, the flies and ants and stuff away. Kirchigator has been homeless for two years and is constantly being displaced. With the extreme heat on top of that, she says it makes matters worse. It's, it's hard, this heat just brings you down emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, it just breaks you, it's, you know, it's horrible. Just because I live in the dirt, I sleep in the dirt, I eat in the dirt, I socialize in the dirt. You don't have to be the dirt. In order to help individuals like her, Riverside County approved more than $7 million in funding toward more emergency shelter projects. 1 million going toward adding 50 beds at the planned homeless navigation center in Palm Springs and another million to create 42 beds at the Coachella Valley Rescue Mission in Indio. Kirchigator tells me the current beds fill up quickly, leaving her and others in the streets. Fortunately, she's been receiving weekly help from the nonprofit organization, The Bridges to Hope. They're all people and they all have a story and there's something good about every one of them. It's a step back and we need to help them step up instead of shame them. Vice President Peggy Grabo is a full-time nurse, but during her free time, she's out here near the railroad tracks helping homeless individuals like Kirchigator. Today I took one for an ID, took one to social services, and then I took Tammy to recycle because there's no way she could physically make it to the recycle center. She says the extra shelter beds are helpful, but says more needs to be done. There is not enough vouchers. There are the people in the middle, the between 20 and 60, it's very hard to get them into housing. And I think they really start, need to start addressing that age group. Now, there's no word yet on a timeline on these changes, but with this added project development alone, the county says it'll increase shelter beds by 28%. Live in studio, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.